Hey guys, so I'm just about to do the Q&A video. Um, as you guys might notice in this video that there are parts with me, Ravina, and Sarah and then parts like this where I'm alone. And I look a little different because I have gone upstairs and taken my makeup off since. And um, also, um, Ravina and Sarah have gone to sleep. But while we were upstairs, I realized that I did accidentally lose some of the footage. I don't know how. Um, maybe because I'm filming this on my webcam and I haven't really filmed the video on my webcam and then put it on YouTube. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and answer the questions alone this time. And then the ones that apply to Ravina and Star, I'll put our clips in together. So it's kind of going to be like, you'll see me and you might see us three and then you'll see me again. And I'll look different, but it's all good. So um, I'm recording this on my webcam just because it's easier for me to see the um, screen the YouTube screen of all the questions. So if you see me not looking at you guys, it's because I'm looking at the screen. So let's get started. Um, I'm just gonna read the questions out and then give you guys an answer. So do you have a Twitter account? Yes, I do have a Twitter account. I don't use it, it's not active. I don't think I've ever shared a status, maybe once, or a tweet, I don't know, whatever you call it. Um, so there's really no point in you guys following me on Twitter because I don't really use it. Um, next question. Where do you get your suits from? How do you know you want to become a makeup artist slash hairstylist? Um, I get my suits from local Indian stores here in Vancouver, Surrey. Um, mainly in Powell Business Center. A few of the stores that I tend to go to a lot is, um, Bhatia Fashions, um, Made in India, Shahi Fashions. How did I know I wanted to become a hair and makeup artist? I think I just kind of always knew. Um, big factor is YouTube because I would spend hours watching YouTube videos when I was younger and I would watch like um, tutorials and like um, Halloween tutorials and stuff like that and I was like hey that's interesting I want to try that and then I started experimenting with like drugstore makeup because obviously that's all I could afford back then. I guess that's just how my obsession with makeup started and then I was like I can do this. So yeah. Next question. Would you prefer doing a booking in Washington, Oregon? Yeah, I mean, I'm available for travel, and if you guys ever did want to hire me to do your hair and makeup, um, feel free to email me. I will link my email address in the description box down below, as well as my hair and makeup page on Facebook, where you can actually send me a message. Um, you can also direct message me on Instagram. There's lots of ways to contact me, but I'll link them all down below. Next question is, why don't you speak Punjabi? Are you ashamed to speak Punjabi or you don't know how? I do know how to speak Punjabi. I speak Punjabi at home with my parents. And I believe in, actually there's probably, like each one of my vlogs you might hear us say something in Punjabi, like a phrase or um, a random Punjabi word. The reason why I don't speak Punjabi in my whole vlog is because a lot of my viewers may not be Punjabi and they might not understand what I'm saying and I don't think that's fair to them. Next question. Do you have to get an arranged marriage? Your parents seem like mine, really religious and strict. How did they deal with you doing makeup? Um, no, I do not have to get an arranged marriage. Not that there's anything wrong with arranged marriages. My parents have never really told me like, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. Um, they're okay with me finding somebody on my own. Um, as far as my parents being strict, um, not really anymore. I, they, they were when I was younger, but I feel like I've grown up now. How do they deal with me doing makeup? Um, at first, they're kind of iffy about it, you know, like typical Indian parents, like, oh, go get an education and then do what, you, like, then pursue your artistic side. So, um, I am getting an education, so I'm making my parents happy and making myself happy as well by doing hair and makeup part-time. Next question. Hey, Mona, I love watching your videos. You're amazing. Are you single? What's your favorite color? How old are you? What's your favorite food? Do you have any siblings? What's your horoscope sign? Um, thank you. You're also amazing. Um, am I single? Hmm. What's your favorite color? My favorite color. I don't really have a favorite color. I mean, I like all colors. If it comes to like, um, buying like a keychain or, um, like a mug or like, you know, like little things like that, I might be attracted to things that are like pink. Like my vlog camera is pink. Um, but that doesn't mean it's my favorite color. Clothing wise, I don't have a color that I wear more often than another color, except black, but that's because black's just flattering. Um, how old are you? I am 23. I will be turning 24 next month. Uh, my favorite food, uh, I don't have a single favorite food item, but I do love Cactus Club. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a older sibling. Um, her name's Amy, and you guys have probably seen her in a few of my vlogs. My horoscope sign is Scorpio. Next question. 
Hey Mona, I love watching your vlogs. My question is, how do you come up with the suit designs that you get your tailor to sew? Also, is your tailor called Ronnie, who lives in Delta? She was blah, 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 blah. Okay, that <laughs> Yes, my tailor is Ronnie from Delta. Um, uh, reading the rest of your comment, I believe, yeah, she was talking about me. Um, thank you that you enjoy watching my vlogs. And your question is, how do I come up with suit designs? Um, I, I don't know, I just do in my head, like, when I go out shopping to, like, the fabric stores or something, I'll see, like, a certain fabric and then another one, and I'll be like, hey, those two look really good together, or they're gonna look really good together. Um, I get a lot of my inspiration from just online pictures, um, I guess, Pinterest. Next question, can we see an Indian outfit collection? Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen most of my recent outfits, um, this summer in, like, outfit of the day posts or on my Instagram. And if I get any new ones, you guys will see them in a video because now that I've vlogged my life, you'll know everywhere I go. Hello, Mona. I love watching your vlogs and I'm always looking forward to them. You mentioned you're going back to school now. I just want to know what program you're in and how you're managing school with your regular bookings. Great job and good luck with everything. Love from California. Um, thank you. Um, yes, I am back in school and I don't really want to mention what program I'm in school for just because there's certain aspects of my life that I like to keep a little private. Um, how I'm managing school with regular bookings is basically, you know, I put school as my first priority and then, um, hair and makeup I've just kept to like weekends, actually just kept to weekends. And um, now that wedding season's over, it's kind of slowed down a little bit too, so I don't have that many bookings right now. Um, and yeah, so my school is my main focus, and then hair and makeup after. Next question. Have your parents ever met your boyfriend? I'm assuming he's your boyfriend, and how was the experience? Um, no, my parents have not. Um, in fact, I just told them about him a couple weeks ago, and it was the most awkward experience of my life. My question is about all those weddings you go to, are they mostly arranged or love marriages? All the couples in your vlogs look so happy. Um, I believe that all the weddings that I've been to that I've vlogged have been love marriages. Next question is, I'm sure you belong to Punjab, but from which city and have you ever been to Punjab? Uh, yes, you're correct. My parents are from Punjab. I'm born in Canada, but um, we are from Hasharpur. And I've only been to India when I was three years old and I don't remember anything and I would love to go back soon. It's just that whenever my parents have decided to go to, back to India in the past, um, it's just never worked out with like my school schedule and they'll end up deciding to go while I'm in the middle of a semester and then I can't really miss school. So yeah, hopefully I'll be going to India soon. How old are you? I am 23. Is your handbag MK? If you're referring to the black purse with the gold hardware, yes, it is MK. From your vlogs, I have seen you have a cool relationship with your cousins. How do you all remain great friends? Um, uh, we, Yeah, we do have a cool relationship. Uh, we're very close. We see each other at least three times a week, maybe more. And yeah, we just love hanging out with each other and we're pretty goofy and we all just get along so well. I love your eyebrows. How do you maintain your shape? Uh, thank you. Um, I don't really do anything to maintain my eyebrow shape. I just go get them threaded every like two, three weeks. I've actually noticed a few comments in other vlogs and I've heard people tell me that um, my eyebrows aren't even or that they're crooked. But the weird thing is that in person, they're not crooked. Like if you saw me in person, you would be like, oh, your eyebrows are totally fine. Because I always get compliments on my eyebrows in person. But in a video, I don't know why. Maybe it's because when I talk, my expression on my face, like it changes. But my eyebrows always look crooked. Even when I wash back my vlog footage, I'm like, what is going on with my eyebrows? But in person, I swear they're not like this. Do you eat healthy all the time? Uh, yes. Based in like five to six days out of the week I give myself um a day on the weekend either Friday Saturday Sunday where I'd like to go out and like have a cheat meal or something next question in the last vlog at the wedding you were driving with who was he he is exactly who you assume he is how are you expecting to find yourself a guy for marriage do you prefer arranged marriage or finding love on your own would you ever move out of your parents house um, I prefer finding love on my own and would I ever move on my parents house no probably not like well once I get married obviously but um, before that probably not I'm pretty comfortable living here alright so this question really stood out to me the most and the question is 
Brown parents can be pretty strict at times, so don't your parents get upset with you when you go out with your friends to clubs and such, or are they a bit more modern? How are your parents so chill? So before I'd like to answer this question, I'd just like to say that everybody's family is different. Everybody's parents have their own way of how they want to raise their children. So just because my parents are a certain way doesn't necessarily mean that your parents should be this way. Um, my parents are a little bit more modern and I find that's because my parents have been in Canada for a really long time. I believe my dad came to Canada when he was 14. So that's kind of helped him, you know, become a little bit more modern. And also we live in a city where there's not that many other Indian people. Um, I went to, when I went to school, there's probably only like three or four other Indian kids in my school. So I had a lot of like Caucasian friends and that kind of helped my parents change their ways as well. I find that a lot of other cities where there's a lot of Indian people living closely together, um, those families tend to care more what other people think of their children or how their children portray themselves or how the family comes off. So I didn't really experience that growing up because um, when I went to school and stuff, there's only like three or four other Indian kids growing up. And um, I had a lot of Caucasian friends and my parents had to interact with their parents. So that kind of helped my parents change in their ways. You know, if their those kids were able to go watch a movie in the evening or have like a group sleepover, um, my parents were okay with me going. And um, But they weren't always like that because my sister always tells me when she was growing up, my dad used to have an issue with her going to the movie theater, even if it was like early evening and not even that late. But um, me and my sister do have a 14 year age gap in between us. So therefore, my parents have kind of changed a lot by the time that I was a teenager from the time she was one. And she also kind of helped raise me as well and tell my parents how they should raise me. So I'm glad I had my older sister in my life to help raise me. And how are my parents chill with me going out with my friends and to clubs and such? Um, when I go out with my friends, they're okay with it because they know they know all my friends. They, so they trust that I'm with good people and that we're not doing bad things. Um, going out to clubs and such, I really don't go out clubbing often. I've probably gone twice this whole year. And that's only for friends' birthdays. And um, my parents know every time I go clubbing, I tell them the truth where I'm going just in case anything happens to me. And also, I don't want my parents finding out from other people that somebody saw their kid here. I'd rather my parents know from me where I really am. So I'd like to advise you guys that are watching my videos because I know a lot of younger people watch my videos. Um, tell your parents the truth. And if they're not okay with it, then, you know, you need to sit down and talk to your parents and express your feelings, tell them how you feel, and that's between your family. Yeah, basically, that's my answer to your question. Uh, awesome question, by the way. Why are you so good at makeup? I don't know. Why am I just so good at makeup? Because practice makes perfect. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Next question. Mona, what's your favorite Starbucks frap? Um, I don't drink Starbucks fraps, but what about you guys? Uh, caramel frap. Caramel frap. I like the double chocolate chip java with extra oh, whipped. Yeah, when I used to drink frappuccinos, it was the double chocolate chip was my favorite one. I used to like the caramel one, then it changed. Um, and then somebody replied back to this comment saying pumpkin pumpkin latte, right, Mona? Um, yeah, pumpkin, I love pumpkin spice yeah, latte. Pumpkin spice latte is my favorite Starbucks drink, but I've only had one this whole year, and I'm not gonna have it again just because it's so bad for you. Well, Second most. It's not bad drink. for you, yeah, but when you're trying to lose weight, it's bad for you. So I have a new favorite drink at Starbucks, and it is basically it's black tea iced. Um, add an inch of milk, and you can get non-fat milk and um, sugar-free vanilla syrup, and that's my new favorite drink. It's the best. Is your name really Mona? Uh, no, my name is not really Mona. My real name is Munpreet. Not Manpreet, Munpreet with a U. Hi Mona, how tall are you and your cousins? Um, oh wow. <laughs> I'm 5'10". I'm 5'8 and a half, 5'9". My question is, how do your parents deal with your beauty and fashion style to like weddings, parties, and etc.? And if they feel you go overboard, what do you do or they do? No, my parents don't think I'd go overboard. Um, they don't really say anything to me. I don't even think they notice. Like, they never say, oh, you look good or you look horrible. They don't say anything. They, they're just whatever. They don't care. Just get ready and go. Just they're, They'd rather I'm just ready on time and out the door as fast as I can. That's their main concern. Next question. This is a fun one. Kiss, marry, kill. Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande. Okay. Uh, I would marry Ariana Grande, kiss Selena Gomez, and kill Demi Lovato. Your turn. I would marry Demi Lovato, kiss Selena Gomez, and kill Ariana Grande. 
Um, I would... You would kill Ariana Grande. That's Frankie's sister. Yeah, I love Frankie, but she's kind of annoying. annoying. Yeah. I would have married her. I'd kiss her. I mean, I like you. her. Okay, but, so know. yours is the same answer as hers. No, I would kiss Ariana Grande because she's cute. Okay. Who'd I'd marry? marry Selena Gomez because I love her. I'd kill Demi Lovato. How could you kill Demi Lovato? Okay, next one. Rihanna, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj. I would marry. I would marry Beyonce. Um, kiss Nicki Minaj just so I can feel her butt, and then kill Rihanna. I feel bad. Come on, I gotta touch Nicki yeah. Minaj's butt. I'd kiss Rihanna. I would kiss Nicki Minaj. She seems experienced, and maybe I get a laugh dance. <laughs> okay, next. Kids, watch this. Clo- okay, Chloe could out. Okay. I love Chloe. <laughs> Okay, ready? Chloe Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Kourtney Kardashian. I would marry Chloe Kardashian, kiss Kim Kardashian, and kill Kourtney Kardashian. Same thing. I, yeah, I agree. I love Chloe. Okay. I love Chloe too. Uh, <coughs> Katrina Kaif, Madhuri Dixit, Bianca Chopra. Okay, I would marry Madhuri. Okay. Yeah. I would. She has no problem Kaif. killing Katrina Kaif. She's, oh my god. <laughs> She's a horrible actress. No offense to anyone who loves Katrina Kaif. And I would kiss Bianca Jobra. Bianca Jobra is my favorite. I love her. Okay, next question. What do your parents think about your YouTube channel, and what was their reaction to when they found out? Yeah. Were they supportive? Was it difficult to explain? Um, my parents' reaction to my YouTube channel, I think I just walked downstairs with my camera and said, you guys are funny, and I'm putting you on YouTube. And they're like, what is YouTube? <laughs> and then I was like, I'm putting your videos online for the world to watch. And they're like, oh, okay. And I think they like, forgot. Oh, well. <laughs> Just when people are like, oh, I saw your YouTube. I'm like, I think oh. once, oh no, one of our relatives called from California. Hi, if you're watching. And they're like to my mom and dad, oh, we saw your video on YouTube. And then my parents are like, show us this video on YouTube. <laughs> and then I showed them. They're like, oh, whatever. That's fine. And I was like, yeah, see, it's totally fine. And then so, yeah. It wasn't difficult to explain or anything. I basically was like, I'm going to make YouTube videos. And they're like, okay. They just don't even know what it is, so they just don't care. Um, next question. Can you make a video about how you make the healthy pizza? Mm-hmm. I think I kind of explained it, but sure, why not? Hi, Mona. What tips do you have for Indian brides regarding wedding day makeup? Any tips to keep in mind? Um, okay, this is just in general. Um, a lot of Indian girls always want to look a little lighter than they actually are. Don't do it. You're going to look ashy in your pictures. Don't be going to feet. Yeah. Be your own color. Yeah, That's be awesome. your own color. Embrace yourself. Embrace yourself. <laughs> and then another thing, don't wear too much highlight because in photography, it just shines. It shines too much and photographers hate when you have too much highlight. Like the shimmery highlight. Highlighting like under your eyes and all that stuff with lighter concealer is totally fine, but shimmer highlight is a no-no. Next question. What motivates you? I'm not really sure what they mean, like, for YouTube. Just in general in life. What motivates me? To I don't know. And be Always yourself. strive to be, like, my best, yeah. you know? And to be successful. And, yeah. Next question. I love your style. Where do you get your inspiration from? Pinterest. Next question. Where do you get your Punjabi suits and jewelry inspiration? I never know what to wear and how. LOL. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of, it just like comes to me. Like I'll look at an outfit, I'll be like, I need this jewelry with this outfit. I must find this jewelry. And then, yeah. And then I'll just ask. And Pinterest. And then they just borrow my stuff. Yeah. Sometimes I don't get it back. Next question. Can you do a do-it-yourself video, Mona? Um, Maybe be a little bit more specific. I'm not really sure what kind of DIY video you'd like to see. Next question. Mona, I was wondering how Sarah did her hair for the last wedding vlog. You did her reception curls. Looks amazing. My sister's wedding is in December, and I really want my curls to look exactly like that. Um, okay, so I did ask you which curls you were talking about, and you said it was in the How Not to Tie a Sari vlog. Um, basically, I just used a curling wand, the Bombay Hair 5-in-1 Curling Wand, Biggest Barrel, and I curled all her hair going outwards, and then the big piece that went like this, I just teased a lot at the crown and used a firm hold hairspray. Um, if I get around to filming the tutorial, I will, but you know, it's I can't guarantee you that it's going to be before December. Can you do daily vlogs? If you could, that would be amazing. Um, I think you guys would be really bored if I did daily vlogs, because there's some days where I really don't do anything. Like, I'll get to bed at like... 
two in the afternoon, and then I'll watch. Then she'll call me. Then I'll call her. Then maybe I'll call her. And then I'll watch the Mindy Project, and then I go back to bed. Like I that love is love Mindy. Yeah, that is literally my day sometimes. So not every day is entertaining, right? So I don't know. Maybe weekly vlogs. Maybe one day. I don't know. Can you do a giveaway? Actually, I have a giveaway that's coming up. I'm giving it away on my birthday, and I will be announcing this very soon on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. To see. Can you make a draw my life video? I was actually thinking about making a draw my life video, but it just entitles so much work. And like, I'm lazy. Like, look how long it took me to make this video. Like, you know? So I don't know. Think about it. Next question. Hey, Mona, can I meet you and your cousins? LOL, you guys seem really cool to hang out with. Sure! Yeah. We can go to Cactus Club. <laughs> Hi, Mona. I would like to know what kind of hairspray would work best with thick, long hair. I have so much hair, it's so difficult to get my curls to stay for the entire day. Um, a good hairspray to use is Joico Firm Hold if you really want your curls to stay. Uh, another um, way to curl when your hair. You, when you curl your hair, you can, when you bunch it up together, yeah. just pin it. Curl your hair, let it go into your hand, and then, and then pin, pin it, it there. And let it cool down, and yeah. then let it set, and then unclip, and then hairspray it will last longer. Yes, it really does last longer. Yeah. Next question. Hi, Mona. Love your vlogs. I'm looking forward to these upcoming videos. What inspired you to become a makeup artist, and how long have you been doing it? Um, YouTube inspired me to become a hair makeup artist. Literally, it was YouTube. And um, how long have we been doing four it? Four years? No, no, it hasn't been four years. I think it's been almost three years. I think it. Yeah, three, because I graduated. I was your model. Yeah. When so I, was I think in okay. February, it's going to be three years. I wanted to ask you what you thought was the biggest mistake they see girls make when it comes to makeup application, clothing, jewelry, etc. Basically, a what not to do. Blue oh. eyeshadow. Don't forget the blend. Blue eyeshadow. Yeah, actually, yeah. Blue eyeshadow. But, you know, blue eyeshadow is okay if it's like a... Midnight blue... blue smoky eye or something. Yeah. Uh, another thing, wearing foundation that doesn't match. Like, their neck not matching the rest of their face is not cool. Especially in pictures, it's just going to accentuate it more with flash. Um, Blend. Blending is key. Blending. Windshield wiper. Yes, blending is key. Um, Julie, okay, this is my biggest pet peeve, is when people wear a tikka as a pasta. Or, like, on the side. When I see that, I go crazy. Like, I go crazy. Um, clothing? I don't know. Everybody has their own sense of style. So you can't really judge someone's sense of style, right? Where do you get your bindis from? I get my bindis from just local Indian jewelry stores. How do you manage to be a vlogger and do YouTube videos, um, knowing people might judge you? Um, I'm kind of the kind of personality that I don't really care if people want to judge me, you know, everybody has an opinion of other people, let them, I don't let it get to me, so. Brown ideas always judge. Would you ever move to the States, if so, where? Yes, I would move to the States, and it would be definitely California. Mona, will you and your cousins come to London in the near future? Um, I was supposed to come to London next year for my cousin's wedding, but I actually got a bridal booking in California, so I'm not going to be coming to London. I really wish I was, but one day, one day we will go. Um, Next question. Hi, Mona. You always talk about weight loss, but can you also talk about stretch marks? Do you have any? If so, where? And can you get rid of them? Or do you do anything to them? If so, what do you use or have you used? Um, yes, I have stretch marks. I mainly have them, like, on the sides of my hips. I do, too. And some under my arms. You have some, too? I think yeah. everyone has I stretch marks. Right here, skinny girls have them, too. Right yeah, skinny girls have stretch marks, too. Um, I heard bio oil works really well. And um, coconut oil coconut works oil. really well. Um, also, if they're like fresh, you can get like this lotion that has aloe in it oh, really? and okay. vitamin K, which is really good. And people yeah. Use that. So a lot of my like, if they're red, that means they're fresh, and if you lose weight, they will disappear on their own. Um, if they're white, then they're not really gonna disappear. They will shrink as your body shrinks. Um, I haven't really been too concerned, or that like, it's not a major concern of mine to get rid of my stretch marks. They're kind of there. I haven't really thought about them. Should I be thinking about my stretch marks? No, I embrace them. Yeah, I like basically, them. like whatever they're there. Next question: Where exactly do you buy most of your Indian clothes, like Anarkalis and Saris? Um, just local Indian clothing stores and pubs, etc. Uh, Bhatia Fashions, Shahi Fashions, Made in India. Just I just go around to different ones, and if I see something I like, I'll end up buying it. Uh, next question: What's your favorite celebrity? One OTP, one true pair. Beyonce and Jay Z. I don't know. Um, ooh, that's a good question. I don't really have one, but I like Beyonce and Jay Z. Yeah, Beyonce and Jay Z. And um, John Legend and his wife. I don't know who his Miguel. wife is. 
Miguel oh, and Na- Nazanine Nazi? Mandy. Or yeah, something? yeah. We follow her on Instagram. I live in Surrey and want to know where do you get your suits made and where do you buy your material? I love all your suits and I married a Punjabi man, so I love to wear suits for him. He is more traditional. By the way, you're stunning. Thank you. Um, I get my material from either Kapra Mundi or Punjab Clock Warehouse. Next question. When are you going to post the vlogs that Ravina and Sarah made when they came to Toronto? Okay, so basically that footage doesn't exist anymore because someone deleted it. Next question. How did you decide what career path to pursue? What's your reasoning behind it? And did your parents have a say in what you should pursue? Um, well, if you're talking about hair and makeup, um, how did I decide? It's just It just happened. Like, it was my passion. You know, I practiced a lot on family and friends and... I just knew something I wanted to do. Um, did my parents have a say in what I should pursue? Um, not really. They kind of were just like, do something that makes you happy. and As long as you get an education. Yeah, as long as I'm key. getting my education. And a lot of you have actually asked me what I'm doing in school. And I prefer to keep that a little private because I don't want to put out too much about my personal life out there. So that's why I'm not answering those questions. But yeah, my parents' main concern is just get an education and get a good job. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm also doing what my passion is as well. Next question. How old are you? What is your favorite lipstick? Um, I'm 23. Already answered that. What is my favorite lipstick? Okay, my favorite lipstick is Snob from MAC. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to say that. But you know what? It doesn't look the best no. on everybody. It looks, it looks different on everyone. On me. Yeah. Um, next question. Hey, Mona. Question for you is that are you dating anyone right now? Perhaps the guy in most of your vlogs. His name isn't mentioned. If not, have you been in a relationship and can you give some advice to people who haven't and are still waiting for Mr. Right in today's time? Um, yes, I'm dating that guy and no, I will not mention his name. Um, like I said, I like to keep some things private. And advice for people who have and are still waiting for Mr. Right in today's time. Yeah, don't no. rush into a relationship. That's all I say. You know, just be smart. Next question. I would love to know if you use any online websites to order Indian jewelry or clothes. If so, which ones? Um, I've never ordered an Indian outfit online. I don't really like ordering things online. I'm one of those people that I need to see it in person before I buy it. Like, I'm not an online shopper when it comes to clothing, shoes, or purses. I, I gotta feel the quality yeah, of the fabric. Yeah, I gotta feel it. I gotta touch it. I gotta, like, try it on, right? And then, like... Because different fabric molds differently to your true, body. True. Exactly. So. It's like, especially me, like, I have a weird shaped body. I've tried ordering jewelry on eBay from India Trend back when they're only on eBay, but they actually have an Instagram page now and they have really good jewelry. So India Trend, check them out. I buy my jewelry all locally um, and Siri. Next question. Have you ever played any sports in your life? Can I see a picture of you as a baby? Uh, no, I don't think I played sports. PE okay. was like one of my worst subjects. In I love school. sports in high school. I hated PE. I was athlete. Let me actually tell you something. I failed PE nine. Like that is sad. Was, um, is there a baby picture of me here somewhere? I don't know. I was athlete of the year. I have a baby picture of my dad. But I don't have a baby picture of me. Which brand of makeup you think is the best? Which brand of makeup do I think is the best? I don't have one specific brand. I like trying a lot of things. Um, some concealers work better than the other. Yeah, other. like there's like, certain foundations I like that are a certain brand, but I don't like that brand's concealers, but I like their lipsticks, so like, just a variety of brands, and you guys will hear me rant about products that I love, like, in my vlogs. It depends on your skin type, too. Yeah, true. Could you do makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, maybe even a whole tutorial of you getting ready for a wedding party, and what are you studying at school? Would you ever come to VidCon in California, love your vlogs, and hope you achieve great success? Thank you. Um, VidCon in California, um, I don't think I would go just now because I feel like nobody would know who I am but you never know where this channel might take me so maybe one day in the future um would you hair tutorials and makeup tutorials you do have some posts I do have some they are on my other channel which I always link below um I haven't made any recently would you ever make a tutorial of you getting ready for a wedding party yeah I've actually thought about it a get ready with me video you know those videos yeah, yeah like, that would be easy I can just get ready and leave it recording so Next time I go to a wedding, I will do that, but I don't have any coming up soon. What was your first YouTube account called? Mona Sega. No, no, no. I had another one before that, but it's deactivated. You can't find it. Um, it was Mona with four S's. Oh, I remember the whole yeah, one. Yes, it, it, it's deactivated. It's gone. What is your holy grail number one foundation? Georgia Armani. Mona <laughs> Silk. Next question. How's your relationship with your sister? Um, it's good. Um, she's my best friend. We talk every day and I don't know what I would do without her. Love you, Amy. Next question. 
I want to start YouTubing too, and you just seem so natural on camera. Can you give us some tips on how to overcome shyness, especially in front of others? Some tips on how to overcome shyness. Um, you know, starting YouTube, I was pretty awkward at it myself. Like, even just holding a vlogging camera and walking around is so awkward. Like, people look at you all the time. I'm not really a shy person. In front well, of other I people. used to be really shy. Yeah. And then, you know what? You just have to get used to the fact that people are going to think things. And at the end of the day, you are who you are. And kind of just go out there. Be yourself. Yeah. Be yourself. People are going to like you. Yeah. You know, and if they matter. don't, you know, like. Then they're not worth it. We don't it. need them. That negativity. Don't need it. I think I've covered all the questions. Your question was not answered. It's probably because it was personal and I did not feel like talking about it. Or by somehow I missed it. Um, feel free to ask me again in the next Q&A video that I'll do. And also I want to address that there was a lot of um, weight loss questions. And um, you know I don't want to center my channel around weight loss because there's more to me than just losing weight. People ask for advice and stuff, but I feel there's so many other videos on YouTube that you guys can search up and watch. Um, yeah, so don't want to center my channel around that. Um, sorry to anybody who asked me a question about that. I think that's all. I just want to thank you guys all for your questions. I really appreciate them. It was so much fun getting notifications every time there's a new question and reading it. Um, and I had fun replying back to your questions. So hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit better and enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.